wonder, why is there a pool table lampshade upside down on my workbench? Well, let's take a closer look. If you can see this seam right here, it has pulled away from the, uh, the solder is pulled away from the panel. Uh, that's a big problem because when you have a lampshade this big with this much weight above actually your kitchen table and it starts to pull away, you want to do something fast. So that's what the owner of this lampshade did. They brought it to my studio to fix. So if we look at the inside of the lamp, you'll see uh, I've started repairs on it. I've taken the bulbs out and uh, I've started to remove some solder. Uh, both sides unfortunately, I mean just the one end. I repaired the other end about two years ago and uh, now this end has started to pull. So. Uh, anyway, we're going to take these out and you can follow my progress with repairing it as we go. I'm working here first on the outside of the lamp. So with my um, soldering iron, I'm removing all the solder from around the pieces that I need to take out. And I'll do this on the inside and the outside of the lamp. Now because of the angle right here, actually this is working pretty good because it's just dripping off as I uh, melt it and rolling down. So uh, it's moving away. Of course I will have to clean up a mess down below where it lands later. Uh, but these actually, when they dry, they'll just flick off. Um, so because it's pulled away on this seam here, I'll have to take this whole piece out. And it's also pulled away uh, up here, so I'll have to take these two pieces out. And I'll refoil them and put them back in, solder them in place. Hopefully when I've taken out all the broken pieces, well they're actually not broken, all the um, pieces that have pulled away from the seam, uh, hopefully the lampshade will go back into uh, the shape it should be, or pretty close to it. We might have uh, some solder seams that are a little wider than they were originally. So anyway, back at it. Here we are working on the inside of the lamp. Um, now I've taken out a big piece there which you can see is missing. Um, this has been removed. First I removed a piece on the crown of the lamp here and then I could work my way around. I've removed foil on this small side and there was quite a gap here so I was able to just pretty much heat it up, um, work the foil loose on either side of the split and then just pull it out of the crack and then from there you know I could um, soften the solder along both sides of the lamp, the inside and the outside, and then wiggle it out without any further damage to the piece so that we can reuse it. So now anything that's left here on the inside where uh, glass will be refoiled and put back in will just pull off the old, and sometimes you gotta heat it if it's connected with another piece and pull that old off. Okay, so uh, that's where we're at. We'll clean up the pieces we've taken out and put them back in. I just want to give you one warning. When you're taking these pieces of glass out and removing the old foil from around the edge, um, you know what, don't pull it off with your fingers because I've had more than one cut on my finger from uh, foil, old foil. You've got flux on there, you've got old solder on there and it is not pleasant when you get one of those cuts. They can be very, very dangerous. So instead, use pliers. Okay, get a big gob on there and just flick it off. But when you get to something stubborn, just, uh, you know, do that. Perfect. So, 
Thank you. We're continuing with the lamp. It's uh, coming along. We've got all the um, broken pieces out. Not broken, but um, pieces that have pulled away from the foil. They're all going to be cleaned and uh, put back in. So, we'll keep working. The lamp that I'm fixing was made uh, in 88, so it's uh, been around for a while, actually over 20 years at this point. Uh, I just wanted to show you one of the pieces that I took out of the lamp that I pulled away. I've cleaned it up, and um, you're probably not going to be able to see this, but the edges are really shiny. I don't think, except for maybe the top, actually all of them are really shiny, so I'm thinking that they were not ground. And um, you know what, over time if you've got a smooth surface that your um, solder, sorry, that your foil is sticking to, if it's too smooth it will pull away and you should always grind the edges. Even if it's a nice smooth cut, it looks great, grind it because that will help your foil to adhere nicer and your project will last longer. And here's the completed lamp. The pieces have been cleaned up and foiled and put back in. And boy is it tricky getting a level to solder on with a lamp this big. You really need two people to hold it and to manipulate it. So we've uh, done all that. It's back in and uh, patina put back on and ready for hanging.